How's it going? I wanted to make a video tonight to show some of the modifications I made to my new AR-15 Bushmaster QRC. So first off, I didn't really like the mil-spec handguard that came with it. It's just kind of plastic, feels kind of cheap. And the main reason why I wanted to replace it was it's really hard to find Picatinny rails that will attach to this correctly. I found some that did attach to it, but they were loose and not very tight. And so the first thing I did was I got a new handguard for it. I went with an M-Lock handguard. It had the Picatinny rail on the top already, which is really nice. And then I got the forward grip for it, which didn't even need a Picatinny rail to attach to because it was an M-Lock forward grip just went right into that slot and screwed in from the bottom. And then I got some M-Lock Picatinny rails. I attached a small one to the side here for tactical flashlight, which works really nice and it was pretty cheap. I got it on Amazon for about, I think it was under $20, like $16 maybe, something like that. And so this M-Lock handguard was only about $35 and it'll basically attach to any mil-spec AR-15 that has a delta ring even if it has the front sight on the delta ring which is this piece right here and so you basically take off your old handguard and you put this one in and then four bolts screw in right there to secure it and then from there I was able to attach a pick rail to here for the tactical flashlight, which you can see actually has another Picatinny rail, so you could attach a laser or something else to it. And then I got a Punisher decal that I attached to the Magwell right there, and then the custom Punisher Magpul magazine, I believe it was. And with all everything, it was probably about a hundred dollars if you don't count the magazine. The light was under 20, the handguard was only 35, the forward grip was about 20 to 25 dollars, and then I got these pick rails, came with a set of three, two this size, which isn't very long, and then one long size Picatinny rail. And overall it's just made the gun a lot more to my liking, instead of the plastic handguard you can see here with just a little piece of sheet metal inside, it's anodized aluminum, which is a lot stronger. And yeah, it just made the gun that much better in my opinion. And yeah, that's about it. It looks quite a bit better in my opinion. And I mean, you, now with this M-Lock handguard, I could even attach more stuff to it if I wanted to. And I'll show a picture of what it looked like before I made all these adjustments to it and then this is what it looks like after obviously well if you like my video hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner give the video a like and I should be coming out with videos at least once a week this is the first video I've done in about two weeks or so because I've been really busy with work and everything so I haven't really had time to make any new videos, but I'll have a lot more videos coming up here soon, including a AK-47 video, unboxing and shooting and review. So stay tuned and I'll have more content coming up for you guys. Thank you and have a good night.